today with Silicon Valley the way it is, as you know, the valuations have gotten out of control and there are layoffs going right and left. As an investor on the outside, or not, I mean, you're still involved, but as an investor looking at it from that glass, this correction, one, is probably overdue. And two, mm -hmm. uh, how long do you think it's going to be before the Silicon Valley licks their wounds and gets going again? We've got two years, but uh, it started six months ago. So we've got a year and a half. Nobody can be precise in their estimate of it because there are too many external factors, yeah. uh, black swans, things that are happening that we can't control. Uh, but if it's two years, which is a, a pretty good guess, you'll find that the valuations, let me give you some examples. Uh, SaaS companies, software as a service, which are the companies that are getting the most attention nowadays, other than uh, internet games, which are gigantic other than robotics, which are big, other than AI, which are giant. Uh, those businesses, SaaS businesses, are down to 56% of their value mm -hmm. as that value was stated in December of 2021. Every one of the early stage businesses especially are down, but that one is kind of shocking. We can expect a pre-revenue business to get uh, about a half of the valuation offer it would have gotten uh, six months ago, seven months ago. And that's because we have to invest low to sell high, right? I mean, you've heard that one before. Yeah. And if uh, Silicon Valley had gotten out of control, their lowest valuation was 5 million. They were giving 8 to 10 million valuation to startups with no revenue and no proof. And you mentioned a minute ago the team. Well, that's one of the things I talk about in the book. Uh, it's got to have a team. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't have a team to get you to break even, you usually destroy a company in replacing people who were founders. And that hurts. So it's just one of the things you have to watch out for is, is that team capable of getting you to break even, which is a proxy for stability. So with all of those things and all those valuations down, it's a great time to invest. Does that surprise you? <laughs> right now <laughs> is a great, a great time, time to invest. Yeah. Seven months ago was not, right? Yeah, right.